imjarts.com. This is Aaron Cohen. You're listening to The Big Bang Show with Jay Hart. What up? Yo, yo. Five And we're on The Big Bang Show today with Aaron Cohen. What's up? How's it uh, going? Yeah, I'm good, though. I'm good, though. So my, my first question will be, who are you? Who am I? Yeah. It's philosophical. Uh, <laughs> I'm Aaron Cohen. Uh, I'm a rapper from Seattle. Live in Queens in New York right now. Uh, just put out a couple mixtapes. Yeah. One late last year. Putting out a bunch of videos, doing shows. Part of ICK, a crew called Inner City Kids in New York. Yeah. I'm me. You know, I'm Aaron Cohen. Okay. So, we will start with three quick questions. Um, if you were a movie, what movie would you be? That's a tough question. I'd probably be Mean Streets. Yeah? <laughs> no, I, just, I, just, I just love that movie. Uh, I love too, though. Um, if I was a movie, that's a hard question. Uh... Maybe above the rim with Tupac, but I'd be the, you know, the hero. Or maybe okay. I'd be the janitor turned basketball player. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. That's a weird question. Uh, maybe I'd be train spotting, just like a junkie running around, like, looking cool, you know? Okay, okay, okay. And <laughs> I know you like coffee, so... I do. If you wear a Starbucks coffee, which what, what coffee would you be? Just be... A venti drip, just the biggest, <laughs> just the strongest thing. <laughs> with a couple shots, like. Okay, and if you wore a pair of sneakers, be the Harachis, but the all-black Harachis you can only get in in London. Okay, okay. <laughs> see you, see you, see you, man. So you just drop drop your your new mixtape, Potential Fans, um, on last November's. Can you introduce this mixtape? Yeah, this mixtape. It's definitely my best work so far. Uh, it's 14 tracks, just me really taking a lot of time to work with producers and find the production that was most fitting for my sound and kind of build a real cohesive project as opposed to just like a mixtape strung together with different instrumentals. Uh, it's really like my business card, you know? I think it displays what I, I'm getting better still, but it displays what I am what I'm about and kind of just telling the world like you can fuck with me if you want you know but like I'll be here doing this and like hopefully you'll come around to my team you know okay okay, okay. and if you had to pick up only one bar to resume this this mixtape what bar it would be one bar off the mixtape yeah I don't love you bitch I love my mother and my music <laughs> <laughs> I think that sums everything up, right? Okay, okay, okay. So my favorite track on this on this on this mixtape is "Anyways." Um, how that song came out? That song is produced by Yuri Beats. That was one where I actually came to him with the idea, you know, for the beat and kind of. A lot of times, people producers just send me beats. I'm like, that's great. I'm gonna work with it. This one, yeah. we kind of built from scratch. Uh, I told him how I wanted to sound. He's really talented, so it came out good. Uh, it's just a very real song, like how it starts, you know, like mm -mm. smoking cigarettes, girls telling you smell like ashtrays, <laughs> being depressed, just wanting to rap, you know, and the shit people talk about me. It's not really a big deal, but like you notice it, you know, so it's kind of dealing with that. Uh, we actually just shot a video for that in Paris. And yeah, uh, you, you told me that. Yeah, let you know that. That's that's gonna be dope. It's just me and all kind of the touristy spots in Paris at a couple clothing stores just kind of flexing like <laughs> I'm in Paris what are you doing <laughs> like, okay okay but uh it's a good video though I think people are gonna like it a lot when, when you drop the video man whenever they fucking finish it no I, <laughs> should out to the French style <laughs> uh, we're gonna drop it should be in the next couple weeks hopefully okay I don't want to make any promises so, but soon 
Okay, that's what's up, that's what's up, man. So you're from Seattle, where the grunge music started. Um, and I can see and listen that in your music, man. Can you tell us all the music scene is over there? I mean, like, in general, it could be rock, hip-hop, and all that. Yeah, I think everything in Seattle is, like, a little bit more organic, you know, where there's, like... I guess grunge was the perfect word to describe it because it's... It's kind of grimy, not clean, not flashy, but just, like, has a very real feel. And I think that, you know, like, grunge was kind of the reaction to glam rock and shit. You know, where people would make up and their hair up, and people were like, nah, we're just going to yep. wear our flannels and drink our coffee and smoke our cigarettes and do our thing. And, like, <laughs> and I think that's reflected in every genre when it comes out of Seattle a little bit, you know? Okay, that's why Starbucks is from close to Seattle. <laughs> that's the way <worst> lifestyle. <laughs> so, we just mentioned that you moved from Seattle to New York five years ago. And my question is, because I moved from Paris to New York City, and that's a big move. My question would be like, um, it, it, that move was difficult for you? Because you have to make a new life. Uh, and New York is a busy city. Yeah. I think, I mean, there were some difficulties. When I first moved here, I moved to Farakaway, Queens, which is like the farthest possible neighborhood from Manhattan. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like actually, like look it up on Wikipedia. It's like the farthest neighborhood. Uh, so that was, I had to adjust to that. But nah, I wasn't being that productive in Seattle. You know what I mean? I was in my like comfort zone to uh, do stupid shit with my friends, and mm. you know, I think moving to New York was great for me because. Just so much energy and so much competition and so much music going on that it really forced me to be more productive and to compete. And so far, it's been great. Like, maybe I'll move to Paris one day. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, okay. And you have a pretty good buzz right now. Like you said, you worked a lot right here. And you got a buzz right here in New York, but you got a buzz overseas too. How did you get it? In almost like what? two three years that's that's a really big move in a short time yeah i mean i think the biggest thing is just working hard non-stop you know like i don't take any breaks from this shit so if you're constantly if you're constantly focused on something it has a way of working out uh i'm grateful like shit's worked out you know I, i've done exactly what i wanted to do musically and enough people have latched on for me to to keep moving in that direction, you know? Mm. Uh, obviously, the visuals help. Like, people are so ADD nowadays, and they need something to be in their face. They're not just going to download your mixtape or download your album out of nowhere because the Internet's so oversaturated with people. So having some visuals that stand out and really some, like, top-notch production, like, really let people see what you're doing and feel what you're doing like i feel like i've done a pretty good job of that so okay know. okay and about that about buzz about marketing your music if you add two thousand dollars to put in a promotion what you'll do like you will do on the street promotion or just web promotion two thousand dollars yeah if i had two thousand dollars <laughs> uh, um I don't know. I feel like that's not that much money. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Because why I ask you this question is to, you know, talk about indie artists who don't have a lot of money. Yeah. And I think you are the good example of. If I had two thousand dollars, I would something. find one really influential blogger, and I'd be like, "Yo, I got two thousand dollars. Send this to all your friends." No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't bribe bloggers. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'd do. I'd probably pay my rent. <laughs> <laughs> But the question is about... Uh, promotion. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't do too much of, like, the street hand-to-hand -hand flyers and all that. Like, I don't think it's that productive. Um, 
I'll probably take it to the web, to be honest. Like, I figure out how to turn that into, you know, some posts, some... I don't know. Okay, I got you. I think, I think this shit's more simple than people make it out to be. You know what I mean? Like, you figure out how to get your shit where people are going to see it, you know? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, okay. Let's talk about Paris, man. You mentioned a lot of Paris in your lyrics. Um, like you said, you did a video in Paris. Um, tell me what you like in this city. It was just beautiful over there. You know what I mean? Like, in terms of art and stuff, it gave me a kind of a similar vibe to New York. Yeah. But, uh... But the city itself is so old, you know, and just walking around felt like felt like there was history there. And it's cool to have, you know, like people over there were appreciating the music in a way that I hadn't experienced before. So that was obviously a good feeling. You know, people asking to take pictures with me and stop me <laughs> on the street and stuff like then you get back to New York and <laughs> you know, somebody like, kicks you in the back, like get out of my way. And, like, <laughs> so that was cool. And I just met some good people over there who really took care of me. And B Street Weekend, like, hooked me up big time. Okay. So, yeah, it was, good. it was a good time. Okay, okay. Um, you, munch, you mentioned ICK, your crew. Um, can you introduce the crew? Yeah, ICK, uh, Inner City Kids, is a collective of uh, rappers and artists and writers from uh, New York City. We're kind of all city, like represented from Harlem, Queens, Brooklyn, Jersey, Freeport, Long Island, Seattle. Uh, there's a bunch of different rappers in the crew. There's Spaceman, the crazy guy with the dreads in my videos, AB Go Hard from Jersey, Think Watts, Kamal, Hayes, it's Contraband, uh, Brittany Flapjack. Basically, Our thing is we don't want to do what anyone else is doing, so we like avoid trends and gimmicks at all costs, and everyone just does themselves. Yeah. And has the support of the people around them who are, you know, also trying to do what they want to do, you know. So it's just kind of like avoiding the idea of like hype or this is, you know, this is what's happening, and really just having faith that we'll find success doing whatever the hell we want to do, you know. Okay, okay, okay. And what's your next move about it? you, ICK? Do you plan to drop a, like a collaborative mixtape? Yeah, we're working or? on a on a group project. Okay. Which uh, there's a lot of us, so there's always you know we're gonna argue about <laughs> what it's gonna sound like. Uh, yeah, yeah, who's yeah. Who's gonna be on what? But it'll happen. It's gonna be pretty crazy, I think. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we close to finish this interview, Aaron. Um, I got these classic questions on the Big Bang Show, man. What is better than money? Music. Okay. Music. And what could be your definition of hip hop? That's a hard one. You know what I mean? I mean, hip hop's a a culture, you know, that was birthed out of New York at a specific point in time and kind of spread across the world like crazy and has taken on its own identities in different regions you know so it's big if i was big that's what it is you know? <laughs> okay and now that's your shot you can tell what you want whatever i want whatever <laughs> no. even cursing uh, or whatever yeah i mean i'm aaron cohen it's ick you should really fuck with us i promise i'm just making the music i want to make and that's all i really want to do you know what i mean like i'm never i'm not a materialistic person like I'm just going to keep doing what I want to do, and I think it's going to work, so you should fuck with me. Thank you, man. Thank you. Give me the two cents, but I don't give two shits. That's nice advice, but I'm going to pass like two hits. My favorite rappers can't rap no more. I think they're too rich. I'm looking at these sellouts like, homie, why did you switch for a bad bitch like Trina? Make it rain like El Nina. You crossing over like Tim Hardaway Sr. On the Warriors, you a princess like Xena. Drinking Zima in your Beamer. Not doing your job like FEMA. See the smoke as it rolls out the bowl, Pasadena. I want to pack arenas and fuck packs of ballerinas. Portman and Kunis give them both gonorrhea. But it was only gonorrhea, but it was only gonorrhea. I'm in Times Square slinging mixtapes in front of Mama Mia. Make five bucks, 
Buy half a chicken at Pia Pia. I'm too big for this shit, like Shaq and Akia. Yo, fuck a rapper, I wanna collab with Aaliyah. <laughs> Aaron Cohen, I'm here with the Big Bang Show. DJ J Hart. ICK. <laughs> So that's the new music from Chef Bright. One demo strike? Huh? What, what was the demo strike?